All right, today I'm gonna give a brief demo of the Gold Zero Yeti 1000 Lithium. I saw this at Costco yesterday. They had it on sale for a thousand bucks and it seemed like a good deal, so I thought I'd check it out. Uh, so what do you get with the Yeti 1000? It's a lithium ion battery. It takes a while to charge up, but it, allegedly it has a thousand watt hours or one kilowatt hour of power. It, that power is available in a couple different ways. 110 volt AC, 12 volt DC. The inputs, are either through a standard kind of charger or like your laptop might have or it has inputs from a solar panel in two different formats for the inputs sorry i don't know what kind of plugs or receptacles these are i'm sure it has a name in any case uh, in addition to the battery it has a 1500 watt inverter allegedly surged to 3000 but we'll see and it has a solar charger controller. So I haven't messed with that. I don't, I don't even own solar panels. I just thought this was a slick way to have quiet power readily available. And I thought I'd give it a shot. On the front display, you can see right now, allegedly it's charged 100%. I know that's not totally true because I did a little test run with a vacuum, which I'll demo here shortly. And let's see if I can dim this a little. So you can read that a little better. And you can see, I can change the units on the output. It says uh, I use, I put out 65 watt hours and the battery's down at 12.3 volts. So we'll take a look. Um, right now there's zero input because it's not plugged in. The light just turns on the backlighting. And then the info you can cycle through right now it's not cycling through anything, but if I were to plug it in, it would show how long it takes to charge, that sort of thing. And you can see also it has USB 5 volt, 2.4 amp per port there. Um, of note, so I plugged it in last night, and what I found was I had this lid closed. You can see that you can plug it in as such, so it kind of looks like, sorry, that's saying better. It looks like that seemed like the way to, to, to work this. I came back about four hours later and this was, I opened this up and this sucker got pretty warm. So it actually kind of latches in place here. So I kind of popped it out of that and just plugged it in and kept it separate, separated away from the other plastic and I left the lid open and that seemed to control the temperature pretty well. Uh, it, it wasn't warm after that. It's only a 55 watt charger, so it takes a while to charge the battery. I'm not familiar with Gold Zero stuff. I imagine they have a higher power charger, just like your laptop manufacturer will sell you a higher power charger. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Just reading through the manual briefly, it talks about multiple inputs. Each input is good for 160 watts, it says, not to exceed 240 watts input total. So you can't charge it faster than that. So I imagine you could have, um, maybe 200 watt solar panels going to multiple inputs. And the manual's not really clear on that as far as is, do these two count as multiple or as multiple if I plug one in here and one in there? I haven't figured that much out yet. But I just wanna give a little bit demo because I was kind of impressed. I thought we'll just test it out with your standard one each Dyson uh, vacuum cleaner about seven years old. I can't remember what model it is, but it's not like it's a smaller one. It's a full-size Dyson, if you will. So, all right, buddy, why don't you go uh, demo the vacuum cleaner for us? I have my demo. Demo guy here. So go ahead, power it up. Let's see, oh, good call. There we go. So why didn't it power on? Because the inverter's not powered on, so that saves power. Let's go ahead and turn it off first. I think it's off. Okay, I'll turn the inverter on. As soon as you turn on the inverter, you'll see it starts pulling a little bit of power. Leave it off for a second. You'll see that it pulls a little bit of power just while the inverter mode is on. There you go, about five watts. And it's just sensing a load. As soon as you turn the load on, that goes up, obviously. And when you turn it off, I think it's still pulling a little bit of load sensing, but all right, go ahead and power it up.
So we're vacuuming and you can see the vacuum cleaner is pulling a little over a thousand watts. And you can see that it's saying 0.9 hours to empty. That's a lot of vacuuming. That's pretty heavy load. So I was quite impressed. I vacuumed with it for about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Which is why it didn't surprise me that I was down to 12.3 volts. And it has fans on either side of the case. They're very quiet. They actually are spinning, but they're so quiet, you, you really can't hear them. Of course, not over the vacuum cleaner. All right, hey buddy, kill it. So that's the Yeti 1000, Goal Zero, from Goal Zero. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this little package. Are there more cost-effective ways to generate power? Absolutely. Is it in such a neat, slick, clean package that you can throw in your vehicle, charge from a cigarette lighter, and uh, have power at a campsite without being that guy with a really noisy generator? I, I'd be hard-pressed to find something. That's all I got. See ya. Okay, one last thing I failed to meant to uh, film. In case you're interested, you can pause this on your screen and read it. But tech specs, charging inputs, power outputs, etc. That's all.